So I'm stood in front of my door right now because I want to show you how brilliant my door looks. Fully joking. everyone you're watching Cheska's channel and in today's video I thought it'd be a really nice idea to show you guys my room you know show you what it's all about why not do something a little bit more relaxed a little bit more homely I always see these videos floating around I just I love watching them personally I think they're so much fun to watch let's show you my room welcome you into my crib no we didn't just say that mm -mm, no we didn't I've got a lovely drink here and I'm really really enjoying it it's actually warm orange squash <laughs> Do you, would you say a drink is yummy or would you say it's refreshing i mean i guess you'd say it's refreshing but when it's warm would you say it's yummy or refreshing i don't know that's a, that's a difficult question comment down below and let me know which one you think it is now this is an any old room tour and why do i say this you might ask i'm saying this because I'm actually going to show you guys how I transformed my room. Yeah, seriously, I redecorated my whole entire room all by myself to make it the way it looks today. From this to this. Uh-huh. Big difference, I know. So I thought I would share with you guys today exactly how I did this, why it was super, super easy and how you can make it easy. Also, how you can make it super affordable. Doing it by yourself is such a cost effective way to doing up your room. And honestly, it's not only like cost effective, but it's also super, super rewarding. So if you do love the sound of this video and you would love to see my room and how I transformed it, then make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. And if you wanna stick around for a little bit longer, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and now let's crack on with the video and get on with my room tour let's do it so to start off my room tour this is my cat i love her she is so cute she's a little bit annoying she's a little bit needy she always likes to dig her claws into my arm like i'm doing right now she is called smoky aren't you i actually do have another cat called coco as well but god knows where she is we've got my lovely smoky in my room today she loves curling up on my sofa bed behind me which i'll show you right now also before i get into this the lighting would be so different in my room right now if i didn't have ring light big light so i feel like the kind of fairy light vibe won't be going strong in my room right now but you'll get the general idea trust me it is so super cozy when these bright lights aren't about i just wish i could show you like that but you know i love fairy lights i am literally the fairy light so I'm stood in front of my door right now because I want to show you how brilliant my door looks. Fully joking. You're probably watching this right now thinking, okay, why are you showing me your door? I really don't care about your door. The reason why I'm stood in front of my door is because I just want to tell you guys, before I redecorated my room, this door, my radiator, my skirting boards, about everything white in my room was like a creamy, yellowy colour. So I will insert a picture just here of my radiator, half painted white. This will prove to you guys, you know, how yellow that radiator was before. And that was literally the colour of my door. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because, oh my goodness, does putting some white gloss paint on radiators, doors and skirting boards make a huge difference to your bedroom? It makes it look more modern. It makes it look more cleaner. And it just lifts the whole area. It just makes it brighter. So my point is, if you want to lift your room, make it look cleaner and make it look fresh whack some white gloss paint on those radiators on those doorways and on those skirting boards now seeing as this video is also a room tour as you can see on my door i've got a lovely lovely autumn wreath i love this autumn wreath will not be taking them down until i change up for christmas also on my doorway i love to keep my bags and as you can see i have like a million bags so this one right here my sister actually got for me oh my goodness do i love this so as you can see it's like this lovely kind of like navy crocodile doll leathery kind of bag it's got this gorgeous handle on the top here it's just such an unusual handbag it's kind of impossible to explain it this is like one of my go-to bags when i go out with the girls on a night out or something and um, by the way it's from top shop if you wanted to know so i've got this one here which i also really love so it's got this snake print little effect on the lid of the do you call that a lid i don't know if you call that a lid i don't know what you call that this one i actually got from bhs i know random but i saw it in there and i fell in love with it so <laughs> i was gonna get Another bag that I have is just this plain black one. I know it's kind of boring. I kind of felt like I needed a plain bag because plain bags 
sometimes I just needed to go with outfits. Got a little catalog on the front here. And if you guys have watched my summer Primark haul, you would have seen that I purchased this lovely bag right here from Primark. And I love this bag so much. It's got this lovely little scarfy, strappy thing around the handle. Right, so here you are fully looking at my lounge space. I love my little lounge space. It's my place to chill, a place to relax. It also is my little place to film in front of. So as you can see on the back wall, I've got this lovely horse picture i just thought it was such a beautiful picture it just blends in so nicely with this blue color on the back it just brightens it up keeps it light also seeing as i mentioned the blue color on my back wall that right there before was like a magnolia kind of really yellow color wall as you can probably tell by this photo here whereas i then painted it this lovely blue color now this blue paint on the wall is actually called moonlight bay now it's so important to get your emulsion correct normally on walls in your bedroom you should go with matte so this is my c and n sign now i absolutely love my c and n sign i just think it really <laughs> brings my youtube background together so i actually got this from hobby craft for literally eight pounds each so i I think it was about 16 pounds altogether which i to be honest think is a good price because it's got this lovely lovely kind of like washed down wood effect on it and obviously gorgeous fairy lights so as you can see on the back of my wall here i've got these lovely gorgeous white rose flowers now you could probably guess that right yes they are fake they are artificial now i absolutely love artificial flowers at the moment is that real is it i i don't know now also another reason why i've got these gorgeous white flowers over on this corner here is because i've actually got this really gross pipe i don't know if you can tell and i really wanted to disguise that and just make it look so much better it was literally 10 pounds for this lovely flowered leaf garland which i think is a really 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 good price now as you can see i've got these lovely circular lights on the top of my ceiling here now i decided to put these up here because they brighten up the whole top of my ceiling there it's not actually doing it justice right now because i've got these really bright lights on the wall so if you guys want to brighten up an area, I would highly advise going onto Amazon and getting these lovely round lights. I think I got a pack of six for quite literally £10. And then it comes with this lovely remote control here. As you can see, you've got off button. So you just turn it off and it turns off or you turn it on and it turns on, which is really clever. And you also have red. Uh-huh. I mean... To be fair, red is kind of a vibe. I like the red. What I really want to show you is the bottom half to this. Like, come on, how lovely and cozy is this? So this is my little lounge space. As you can see, my lovely cat is really enjoying the space right now. So I have my little side table here. Now this table I actually already had, and it was actually like this dark brown color. And this was like red inserts here. I painted it white because I just thought it fitted really nicely in with the rest of the room. I've got this really nice candle here which is actually Wickford & Co Pineapple Crush. They also have another Wickford & Co one here, Strawberry Eaton Mess. I mean, how yummy. This here, one of my best friends, Alex, actually got this for me. I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. It's this gorgeous jar. It's like blue and gold. I also have this lovely card that my boyfriend gave me, which says the story continues. I've kept that card out because I just think the story continues is just such a lovely quote. And obviously, as you can see, I've got these lovely big cushions, which just makes this space so so, so cozy and these fluffy blue ones here i actually got from the range and i decided to get those because it kind of bounced the blue off the back wall which i thought really worked well and that was literally three pounds each and as you can see from this photo insert here i actually put it on my back bed at the start which i love but i want to fill this space out more so i put them all here because they look cute as you can see i am back with my lovely mug of orange squash which definitely is not warm anymore it's definitely cold <laughs> Okay, so other than my lovely mug of orange squash, this is an area of the room. So this is literally, as you can probably tell, right next to the other side of the door. So it's sort of opposite my lounge space. Yeah. So here is my lovely wooden chest of drawers. Now talking about these lovely chest of drawers. Now I actually painted these myself when I redecorated my room. Now this is a perfect example of how you can decorate your room for really, really affordable, good price. So I already had this lovely, nice chest of drawers right here but it was like this horrible round 
cheap looking wood before this. I just felt like it really needed sprucing up. Now I could have easily have just chucked it out or given it to someone else and bought some nice new furniture for literally God knows how much money. Or I could reuse this and spruce it up with a lovely lick of paint, which is obviously what I did because it's a no-brainer. Now, as you can see, I painted it this lovely, bright, deep, blue color so when painting wood you need to one make sure it is super clean now that is that that's in regards to everything in this room so before i put a lick of paint on the walls i had to really thoroughly wash it down clean it dust it hoover it and make sure it was a nice clean palette to work from and you have to also give it a good sand so i gave it a really good sand which you must wear face masks for as well because you don't want to be roofing in that dust you definitely don't you don't know what's on that furniture mm -mm. and then the next important step is to put a primer base coat on it and this is also really important because it will totally affect your finish again you don't want to put the paint on and then it will scratch off you just don't so make sure you put a base coat on and literally it can be anything and then you can put your lovely gorgeous gloss paint on top okay so enough talking about my chest of drawers and how i did those up as you can see it's a load of mess basically what it is but you can't not have mess in my room i'm just a messy person sorry and as you can tell i've got this lovely mustard lamp up here really really love this mustard lamp i actually got this from dunnell so these lamps right here they were only six pounds which i think is a really affordable price also as you can see i've got a tv on top of this chest of drawers so this is meant to be you know where i watch my television but as you can see i literally know watch television also just next to my television and all this which i just showed you i have these lovely little tiles here so this is my boyfriend chris and there's another picture of me and him there so i really really like these tiles um <laughs> oh my god i literally have a dead spider right there that's so gross sorry about that guys please ignore that i live in an old house it happens um but yeah i got these two lovely picture tiles my mum actually got these for me for christmas so as you can see i've got a day bed now before i decorated my room i actually had a dark double bed now the reason why i decided to get rid of my double bed and get a day bed is because obviously it is smaller when you want to redecorate your room and you want to open your space up i just would highly highly advise getting a single day bed also the reason why i decided to get a day bed and not a single bed is because it just looks really pretty it always has this really nice kind of like i don't know what you call that <laughs> um pattern probably the word kind of has a really nice pattern to the back of the bed obviously it goes round like a sofa but it's perfect to like put cushions all around the back of your bed it makes it so cozy and so cute so i actually purchased this day bed from amazon again it did search around felt like amazon had the day bed i wanted for like a really good price now as you can see from this insert picture here i actually did have my day bed around a different way i had it actually against my back wall and i really did like this setup it made it so so open but i decided to turn it around this way because i liked the way that it kind of split off my lounge space my relaxed space to like my workspace behind there when decorating your room just consider maybe your space consider maybe downgrading or downsizing some things just to make your space more open i love it so much i just like lie here sleep here cozy up here but i definitely need to get some cushions for the back because i just think that would really make it really cute now just above my day bed i have a calendar here i mean how cute is this calendar so it says october 2020 so that was actually when we went to cheddar gorge i loved that memory so much and then i actually have my little uh, moon night light which i again made in my poundland video normally it's brighter than that again the lights are making it look not as bright but i like to just hang that there and i also have this lovely canvas here so now this canvas here you wouldn't guess it but it's actually painted by my mum so my mum is so so good at painting as you can probably tell i mean how lovely does this look also on my day bed i like to keep my headbands so i have this white polka dot one here i also have this gray one here with the purple polka dots i have like a kind of green sagey green one here with a textured polka dots which is cute i also have my leopard print one which i absolutely love and i have my pearl one which i got from home bargains for literally was it like a pound i think <laughs> it was amazing these are where i keep my headbands which is cute also 
<laughs> I have my coat here. So this coat right here is, oh, I just love it. It's like a gorgeous, lovely green fluffy coat. I saw this and I totally fell in love because one, I love green. Two, I love fluffiness. And three, I don't actually have a fluffy thick coat like this. So this is actually brand new, hence why it's hung on my bed and hence why I still have the label on it. But I got it from Primark and it's literally 30 pounds. I mean, guys, how good is that for this gorgeous big coat? I love this. <laughs> Um, this rug right here i mean look how gorgeous the color is it's like a lovely blue shiny fluffy and i actually got this from home base i mean guys again would you think that no you just wouldn't you probably say ikea but i got it from home base for literally 30 pounds which is a bargain so while i'm on topic of the rug i thought i'd kind of let you know what i did to my floor so i ripped up my carpet because it was absolutely disgusting like it was just nah i wasn't having it it was you know like carpets when they're really really thin and yeah i, I just it, it just wasn't my vibe so i decided to rip up the carpet in this room and luckily i had some lovely wooden floorboards underneath now if you have some really good wooden floorboards underneath it is a no-brainer to put some paint on it you don't have to buy an expensive carpet you don't have to buy expensive flooring all i had to do was buy some really nice floor paint pick a color and give it a good lick of paint obviously i had to really thoroughly clean it like i said earlier so as you can see from this photo and this video i've got this gorgeous lovely gray paint on the floor it was laying down so so good and i actually got this paint from b and q and it's called leyland it's actually a diamond wearing paint so it means that it's really good for the floor it's not going to get scratched off easily it's kind of impossible to scratch it off to be honest it also is really really good with chemicals so if you want to wash your floor it's not going to suddenly wipe off with chemicals i think it's about 35 pounds but that is still cheaper than buying a new carpet or new flooring I then have my lovely autumn tree which i've already shown you also behind my autumn tree which you can normally see but it's this lovely quote here which is she believes she could so she did i love that quote so much it's so true if you believe you can do it you can definitely do it guys so as you can see this quote is on my wardrobes so next to my day bed i have a huge set of wardrobes i literally had three sets of wardrobes there full of clothes full of rubbish yeah pretty much now on my first wardrobe i always have my slippers outside of it have my lovely leopard print dressing gown and i have this cute little bag which is actually from primark i love this bag i literally bought it for six pounds from primark it's so cute it just sits really nicely there love it so as you can see my wardrobes are looking like it's white but it's actually a very 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 pale pink color and it's got this lovely purpley pink border to it now beforehand these wardrobes were literally a very dull again dull brownie looking wardrobe so i decided to give it a good lick of paint now i actually bought a paint from home base which is home color and it was actually called orchid blossom now the only issue i had with orchid blossom was it really badly clashed with my blue wall how did i get over this i mixed white into it and that's how i got this really very pale very pale pink which pretty much looks white and i painted that all along my lovely wardrobe and then just just to make it more interesting i just thought why not border it on the outside with a different color i just feel like it masked the wardrobe so good so my point is if you want to dress up your wardrobe give it a paint if you come into my wardrobe mm -hmm. as you can see i have so many clothes so one thing that i did when i did my wardrobe was i actually inserted in the top of my wardrobe these lights so again they're very very similar to the ones that i have on my recess over there however i decided to put them in my wardrobe because as you can see it's quite dark in here i've got a lot of clothes it takes up a lot of space so i thought having some nice lights in there you know they're actually automatic so i got them from amazon again if you just put it in automatic lights for your wardrobe they will come up again i think they're about 10 pounds for a pack of like two so as you can see i've got lots of clothes and when i open this one up i've got even more clothes also the way i decided to do this was i've put my summer on the top and i put my winter on the bottom the winter is obviously a lot more messy <laughs> because it's got become colder so i've been taking a lot of that out and throwing it back in here that is what is in my first wardrobe it's like all my clothes pretty much as you can see as well i've got these gorgeous little hearts i mean how cute are these hearts so cute so these right here are from b and m and i got them for literally like two pound each okay so now if we go into the wardrobe and open up with these lovely door handles <laughs> 
as you can see, well, you can't because it's quite dark, but I actually have this section as like all my dresses. So it then goes into my dresses, like loads and loads of dresses, just loads of dresses. So right next to my wardrobe, I then have my lovely collection of heels. Briefly, I'll tell you where they're from. So these ones here to the right are from Dorothy Perkins. They are from Peacocks. They are from M&S. They are from Peacocks again. The black ones are from Primark. The white ones are from Tesco. Um, those ones there, are from TK Maxx. I love those. These ones, these beigey ones here are from Primark. These sparkly ones here, which I actually had for my prom, no jokes, ages ago for my prom, and I've still kept them to this day. This one's here, I actually love so much. It's got like a rose gold heel to it, and then it's like sparkly rose gold all over it, and they're from New Look. Those ones there are actually from Pretty Little Thing, they're from Ravel, and they are from New Look again. So yeah, they are my lovely heel collection, which I like to keep just there. And then, as you can see, I have an another lovely blue side cabinet which goes the same as my chest of drawers which I showed you earlier I painted that up and on top of that I have my lovely artificial tree it's got these gorgeous little ball ball fairy lights in there now just a little thing about artificial trees I think artificial trees look so so good in a room it lifts the space it's classy it looks good I can't explain it. I just really, really like these artificial trees. They just look really cute. And then here, you're probably wondering what this is. So this here is a separate rail. Now, the reason why it's a separate rail is because pretty much everything on here, like all my overcoats, my jackets, my cardigans, my blazers. I also have this lovely little red cardigan, which I really love. I have a red Dorothy Perkins uh, little overthrow cardigan again. I have this, which is actually from H&M. I really like this. It's like a polka dot black, shiny little blazer you could argue it looks like a dressing gown but trust me if you dress it up the right way it looks cute i've got this pink blazer which i actually got from london in camden town um, i've got this one here which i really love so this is a navy blazer it's got little yellow polka dots all over it like creamy polka dot i really like that then i have this really long like leather it's meant to be a shirt but i like to wear it as a shirt and a jacket i've got this gorgeous denim jacket which i'm not joking guys fun fact this is actually my dad so my dad wore this when he was 19 years old it's actually a lee denim jacket he wore it when he was 19 he got it out the other day and i loved it so much he said if i took care of it i could also wear it so i've got this lee denim jacket which i just love and then this is what i meant about my kind of workspace so this is my desk as you can see i did exactly the same with my desk and i painted this this lovely blue color i normally put my laptop on here obviously and then this is a picture of me and alex alex is um, one of my best friends i've got this gorgeous musical light because if you don't know me which you will should um i absolutely love music so this is my lovely musical light and i like to put that there I got that from Amazon for I think about £10 a game. So with £10, I got All of Me Loves All of You, which is a card that Chris gave me. I got my highlighters, I got my sticky pads, I've got You Got This. So in there, I've got some notes on my YouTube and things like that. And then here, I've got my pens, pencils. I also have this lovely coaster here, which another one of my best friends, Imogen, got for my birthday one year. I love this so much. It works perfectly on my desk there. And then I also have my lovely speaker, which I also got from Home Bargains. This was literally 10 pounds this was such an amazing buy from home bargains if you want to get an amazing buy then go to home bargains and get this speaker and then i just have my heart lamp here which is just so cute i actually got that from the range quite a while ago and now it's about 15 pounds finally over here is my recording booth so this right here i also made when i was decorating my room now this probably seems complicated but it really really isn't so as you can see i don't know if you can see but on this back wall here there's like some plywood this here is literally plywood sorry about that up there that's because i was putting fairy lights in there and i kind of ripped them out but yeah this literally is just a piece of plywood and we bent it we screwed it into the wall then we bought these corrugated cording foam which you use when you record your music and we literally stuck it all around the inside of the booth so you literally are getting that soundproof space which is like perfect and then yeah i literally just stand there record in my road mic i link it up to my phantom box here which is perfect and then that that phantom audio box links up to my laptop which is normally here so it's like the perfect setup if you want to hear more on how i exactly did make this recording booth then just comment down below and i'll make sure i do a separate video on this and then as you can see i've put some fairy lights around the outside because <laughs> i'm the fairy light queen i can't not put fairy lights 
around the outside of my recording booth. Okay, and so there you have it. I so, so hope that you enjoyed this video. You enjoyed seeing my room, getting to know me a little bit more, getting to know my space more, seeing, you know, where I film my videos. Also, I really do hope that you enjoyed seeing how I transformed my room from this really kind of dull, boring looking, not too great, like just, just pretty boring looking room, to be honest, to a more fresh, to a more bright, to a more fun, chilled out environment. Hopefully you guys have taken on a few things, taken on a few tips, things that you could do to your room. So if you did like this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And so yeah, I really hope you liked my room and I will definitely see you guys on my next video. See you then. Bye.